So what are some of the preventative measures um, for knee injuries specifically? So I would say the, the best thing, and this is going to be the same answer for any of the injuries that I talk to any of my patients about, is going to be warming up properly. Um, so when I talk to a new patient, in my, my favorite patients are the ones that come in not injured, the ones that say, hey, you know, I want to, my goal is I'm a blue belt in jiu-jitsu. I want to go to Masters Worlds 2021. Um, I want to come home uninjured, if I can, with a couple wins under my belt. What should I do? to try to not get injured throughout this process, stay injury free so that I can get to that competition. I can perform at my best. So would you say like muscle weakness alone in certain areas and neglect of those specific muscles could cause injury? Absolutely. Big time. Because depending on our lifestyles and how our body moves, once again, I'll, I'll go back to in this area, I see a lot of people who sit all day for work. So right away when someone's sitting, I can almost guarantee you that their glutes are going to be a little bit, let's say, underactive. Um, and there are things that you want to do in your warm up that can basically wake those glutes up, get those fully activated, which would really help take a lot of stress off of both the, the low back and the knee. So, what are some injury prevention techniques? Um, I guess just a quick, uh, quick and dirty few exercises that you can do that would be helpful. So I have had three full ACL reconstructions. So now, even when I go to jujitsu, I will show you my three things that I do every single time as soon as I get there, just because I know moving forward, I don't want to have a fourth one. And if it's be, if I end up having a fourth one and I end up injuring my knees again, it's something that could have been prevented. I am going to be so upset with myself. So every single day, I'll show you real quick when I go in to jujitsu practice. The first thing that I'm going to do here, Chuck, right away is I'm going to start just balancing on one leg. So immediately at the beginning of practice, I'm doing this, even just while I'm talking to my buddies, everyone's warming up, just to get all of the stabilizing muscles in my ankle, calf, and knee awake and alive and ready. I'm going to stand on that one leg, and I'm going to do some side reaches. So I'm going to reach out to the side here, and I'm going to reach just backwards. So balancing, just a little reach. And when I'm reaching sideways like this, I'm trying to squeeze the side of my glute here, and when I'm reaching backwards, I'm trying to squeeze my glute max right are, here. Are you really focusing on, you're flexing that muscle when you're yes. engaging that specific muscle? Absolutely. And the reason for that specifically is because that's waking up my glute. So once again, if you're working with someone who um, wants, who's a cubicle dweller, you know, they're working on a computer all day, they're doing podcasts for several hours throughout the day, um, they're coming to, to train and their glutes are asleep. They can be strong, but they're asleep. So those two exercises, balancing is good for just general stabilization. Okay, where, where's my body in space? Where do I want it to be? And then the glute. So when I reach the side, I'm getting more glute medius activation, um, which is going to help with my knees specifically. And then when I do the reach back, I'm getting more glute max activation. And that's going to help me also control the knee, but now we're starting to look up the kinetic chain to the low back. 